His body is like crushed. Oh, he's a mess. He's a mess. It's, but actually, he's, he, he's, he's surprising. It's surprising he's doing as well as he is. He's really doing real good, and he really appreciates all the good feelings that everybody has been sending to oh, him. Oh, that's great. That's super. Well, he's, yeah. He gets his name. Hey, Dave, feel better, buddy. I yeah. mean, come on. Now, how long is it going to take him to get back to what you do? Just about long enough for the, for the next tour. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just, uh, he should be happening about the end of January, I think. We've, mm -hmm. we've got our fingers crossed. There's really no telling at this point. While we're talking about David Crosby, let's, let's talk about Stephen Stills and Crosby, Stills, and Nash and your rock oh and roll word. family tree. <laughs> my now, family. check this out. This is you starting Nobody's that old. with Buffalo Springfield. <laughs> <laughs> this goes back about how many years, really? Buffalo Springfield started what? 25. No. Yeah. Really? Yeah, 25 next year. 1965 was mm -hmm. the birth of the Buffalo Springfield. To and late, actually, early 66. Graham Nash with the Hollies, the Birds, David Crosby. And then here you are, the red line is you going down. Then He's Ma everywhere. He's everywhere. Yeah, you are. Look at this. Then Manassas. They couldn't get rid of me. And then here you are, up to 1988 to 1990, back to Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Right. Unbelievable. And still doing it. I haven't even begun to slow down. <laughs> no, you never do. Nah. You took guitar lessons from Jimi Hendrix. In a manner of speaking, we kind of, uh, yeah, I, basically I studied him. Now, how, how does he... How, how does do you do that? Because <laughs> he's going... <laughs> no, not that part. Okay, now, it was this part. Here, here's Actually, the guitar, was, you do it. He had, he, had this, he had this thumb that was like this long, a mutation, man. <laughs> he's like, he could wrap it all the way around it, suck him, you know, like... Thumb. It him. looked big, but it person. was huge. His hands were like, man, make, you know, Kareem look small. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Does having big hands uh, help you to play the guitar? I would so hope so. I mean, he could twist it, and it's like effort. It was effortless for him. Effortless. I mean, he was, he was the Charlie Bird of the guitar. I mean, he was the Charlie Parker of the guitar. So, I mean, Just absolutely innovator, the best ever. Well, walk. from one of the, the creators mm -hmm. to the other, I mean, that is the ultimate compliment. Mm -hmm. It really is, from Stephen Stills to Jimi Hendrix. Did, did you teach him anything? Because the acoustic is your thing, isn't it? Well, actually, I have this interesting picture of, of the two of us. It's the only picture in existence of the two of us, and I, I'm, of course, very proud of it. I found it somewhere. But he is staring at my acoustic guitar uh -huh. as I'm standing in front of him. He's sitting down, you know, kind of, yeah, and it's like... Like a hawk. You knew he was taking a picture. <laughs> he of what you was were doing. taking a picture, and it's he like was I, your lips? I've got this look on my face going, "Well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, yeah." This is just stuff that I do, and with that, that's the way he felt about me. He says, mm -hmm. "Come on, you can do this. You can do this." I, I, another thing, you attended Mick and Bianca Jagger's wedding, and I happened to be in the area. They were taking you, a plane down, you and know, you were. You, this going? was years ago. Now, of course, yeah. you just got married to Jerry Hall, kind of a. Yeah. They tied a knot or a slip knot in his case. Yeah, you know, I was reading Bill. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm just gonna let that one slip by. <laughs> uh, was everybody sitting around the person saying, it ain't gonna last? No, 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 Come no, no. On. Actually, I was, uh, I was just reading Bill Wyman's book, and it brought back a lot of fond memories from back then. No, we were, it was all the gang, you know, and, and nobody. What was the gang? Everybody talks about the gang. Everybody, gang. nobody was into slagging each other. Back then, like they are now, we were actually on each other's side. Yeah, good for you. Go mm -hmm. do good, positive. You know, right? It is instead tough. of everybody. Nah, 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 nah. He didn't say. No. It's like this city now. Yeah, really, yeah. everybody's on everybody's case. But yeah. back then, you'd, you'd hang out with Jagger. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, Jimmy everybody Trump. hung. Man, it was our gang. Are you miss him? Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, we, we, you know. Every way, that's why we throw these big benefits, so that we can all get our and phone you books caught up. <laughs> yeah, he, you, you guys, I think, have the right. Crosby, Stills, and Nash, and correct me if I'm wrong on this, but you've been at everything. You were at Woodstock, uh, Altamont, then there was... Uh, I'd rather forget. <laughs> then, but you were, you've been at them all. Yeah. And, and everybody has seen you, I guess, of course, at the Berlin Wall. That was a wonderful thing. Yeah. Uh, what was the song you did there? We did a little song called... We did a song, we, we, we upgraded, updated a song that Graham had recorded for his solo album called Chippin' Away. Mm. And what it was was we heard about this going down and we had to go. So we threw together the, just the stupidest, 
publicity stunt in the world so we could get there and like write it off because it was 20 grand to get there. <laughs> <Yeah>. so, <laughs> so we like said, uh, what, you know, people said, well, what are you doing here? So we're very high profile tourists. You're right. And we got there and, uh, and they decided that they really did want us to sing. So they threw the stage up and we, we, we you know, about four or 5,000 kids, maybe more, I don't know, it was so cold. And so they, uh, they showed up in the front of the Brandenburg Gate and it was basically that I think the West Berlin police were bored. Well, it's, it and they wanted like to hear it because they'd been standing around watching all these bozos, you know, wandering around. You know, and so they wanted to see something, you know, say, yes, let them sing. Boom, they boom, saw boom. the greatest. So, that, so they put up the stage. Well, it was fantastic. Isn't and all the news service and everything. <laughs> Stephen Stills, and coming back to do a song that you're going to love. If you ever fell in love and things didn't work out, he's got the perfect song for you. The great Houdini when we come back into the night. Stay up.